<sighs> yep, I've just woke up after watching the absolute sh show against Liverpool. Nil no once again, the fourth nil no in a row. Just goes to show how much the two teams are falling. Absolute dog man. What can we say? The chances we created, Kovacic, Kai Averitz should oh my love. It's just so frustrating to see. It's so heartbreaking how Kovacic missed that second chance. How did he get into the position to score that goal and still miss? Unbelievable. Kai Averitz again, another great chance in the first half. What can I say about the guy? I said a few weeks, a few weeks ago, I'd give him another chance, but I changed my mind already. Um, I put my hands up when I make a mistake. That guy's got to go. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Okay, he just doesn't look like he's going to beat a man. Like, it gets to the positions where you could run, do a bit of skill, but he'll just look to pass it. It's just. Oh, £75 million. Kovacic as well. I, I did back him and said, can we keep him? But he's looking like... He's just not the same guy at the minute. He's looking... I just don't know. It's not good. Um, positive thing to say about the game. Uh, if there is a positive. We did look a bit more um, up for the press. Did look a bit more enthusiastic. We was looking to get the ball further up the pitch, but maybe because that's Kante. Yeah. Maybe it was just Kante. Uh, and this is just his presence. Maybe the gaffer said the press come from Kante because we was getting further up the pitch trying to kick Liverpool in their half. But apart from that, it's just the same old. We get into some great positions to score and once again, we're flopping. You know, we haven't got that player that can get the ball in that. We haven't got that striker. The last striker we had of that nature, Diego Costa, and look how long he's been left. We haven't had a beast that wants, he's hungry for goals. And we're still starting. Kai, up top, Felix, is not a striker, he's an attacking midfielder or winger. We haven't got a, we're playing every game without a striker and we've spent 300 mil on attacking players. These owners have got to be, you know, they've got a, Put the hands up to all the errors they're making. We've got a freaking ex Brighton player as our interim manager right there. Bruno, whatever his name is. This is how much we have dropped as a team. Uh, the guy who was playing for Brighton in 2019 and he's there, Charles. Imagine that. I just don't know what to say anymore, man. It's just bad all over. Um, Chelsea and Hove Albin. That's what comes to mind. But talking about Brighton, that even Ferguson, if you've got a chance, take a look at his goal tonight. 18 years old. He looks a talent. Um, maybe we're going to end up pinching two of their players. Please just, just call it Chelsea and Hove Albin. But that even Ferguson won a goal tonight. And touching up on Liverpool as well. How in the hell did... They beat United 7 0. They are fucking awful. Absolutely awful. And uh, I'd like to apologise to Liverpool fans as well um, for the awful chance from the fans tonight about Ellsbury. No need for it. I do not condole that whatsoever. So, from us at Chelsea Fan TV and the proper Chelsea fans, um, we do apologise for that awful behaviour. Um, yeah, but what can we say? You know, Chelsea Liverpool over the years, that that tie used to get the, the, the hair at the back of my neck standing up, exciting me, but now it's just, it's, it's a finished spectacle. You know, 4 0 no draws, six draws in a row now. It's finished, mate, and uh, it just goes to show both, both falling dramatically. And to think Liverpool are sticking with their gaffer, I think. We've had five gaffers in the space of, of Klopp and they're sticking with him and, and that's good and I'm sure they'll probably back him but we need to get this next uh, 
manage the decision right because at the moment it's it's looking bad and it's the owners that have got to be accounted for this. They've got to take take it on the chin, you know. They've made so many wrong decisions to get all these Brighton people upstairs in, in, in this in this club and now we've got our next Brighton player as our manager. You know, it's not looking too good. Um, and it's another thing as well, massive, massive, massive thing. Um, Frank Lampard and the stance on that, I don't know what you make of that. Um, please, 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 I don't want Ryan to. I love Lampard more than, like, he's not a top three player ever for Chelsea, but he never worked out as a manager. Please, please, please do not get him in as a number two. I don't want that. Uh, I don't want to see a good man come in and flop again. We don't need that. I'd rather wait another week, two weeks, and get a Lewis and Rike in. Um, Nagel's men looks like he's the favourite, but like I said, I don't think he's done much in the game for me to, to be excited about, really. If he comes in, I just think he he suits the model that these owners want to do, a long-term project. We are not here for the long-term, us Chelsea fans. We want instant success. We want success right now. We we want. I don't want to be challenged for this next season. I don't want to be seeing all these youngsters being brought through and that we've done it already with the Jameses and Mounts and everything else. And just to go on Mount as well, I appreciate you, mate. And the way we're treating you at the minute, man, it's absolutely disgusting that a guy who's won play the season two seasons in a row, okay, he hasn't done well for the last few months and, and understand he probably knows that as well. But for him not to be getting any minutes right now and to still be coming out after the game and applauding, I appreciate you, mate. And I think you deserve to start against Wolves. You've got to start against Wolves. You know, we need that in the team now. We need someone who's going to feed these Felixes. Kai Averitt shouldn't even be nowhere near it now. You know, even a Bamian should be given a chance. We need someone who's going to put that ball in there. Hey, which is not doing it. These coverages are not doing it. You know, nowhere near it. You know, Kante, good game again. He's an 8 out of 10 every week, isn't he? There's, there's nothing less to be expected from the guy. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts, of the lot, thoughts below. Another disappointing night of game. I'm glad I didn't travel then to London to watch that. I'd be so, so uh, embarrassed and frustrated. Yep, I'm going to Wolves Saturday, hopefully. It's a bit better than today. Come on, man. It's just, just do something, lads. Come on, Charles. Up the shelves, and I'll be seeing you on Blue Bells tomorrow. Thank you very much.